Hey, what's going on? I have five zines to review. I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. Uh, the Handshake Drug. This is a... Uh this is if you're here in Albuquerque. This is a free zine. Comes out once a week, once every other week. Um, I think a guy named Jeff does it. I've met him like three times. He's very nice. Um, sort of a lot of uh, damn the man, let's break the system kind of stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's free. It, you can get it at Cellar Door at 147 Harvard or other local coffee shops and comic book shops in Albuquerque. If you really want one, you can email me and I'll send you one. Um, it's not bad, it's free, it's trying to uh, put the power of the media back into the hands of the public, which is always a good thing. Brain Scan 25.5. I bought this off Etsy from Alex. Um, I'm only, recently I've started selling my zines on Etsy. I'm trying to get all my zines up there and uh, in that process I have discovered there's a lot of really good zines on Etsy and um, buying zines through Etsy is awesome. Um, there's this group called um, Team Zine and lots of good stuff so i ordered some brain scans off of etsy and got them like the next day or the day after they she mailed them like right away which was so cool um this is a 24-hour zine challenge that she did um it's all about the various um post office boxes that she's had and the different addresses that she's had which is like a really great theme for uh for like a quick zine um the aesthetics and the layout as always are absolutely beautiful um, I don't think any zine consistently does a beautiful layout the way um, Alex does brain scan. I, I always love how it looks and the stories are really good and cool and cute and just about the different places she's lived and the different um, addresses that she's had. Um, I don't remember how much this cost, um, but it's on Etsy. It's really great. Oh, look, I had a little Etsy sticker. Buy, buy zines on Etsy. Team zine. Um, I also got brain scan 26. Um, so what's the deal with you and microcosm? I don't want to talk too much about this because the subject has just been slaughtered um, in the zine world, especially on this website. Um, I don't. It's hard. It's a difficult. It's a difficult subject. Um, but if you are curious how Alex feels about microcosm, um, she pretty much lays it all out here. Um, she writes. She talks. It's it's tricky. It's a tricky subject. Um, and a lot of people have mixed feelings about it, but this is a good zine and it's worth reading if you're curious about that topic. I want to let people know that it's out there. The Darkness to the West um, by Adam. Adam, how do you pronounce your name? N Nade? Grenade? Grenade? You should change your na name to Adam Grenade. That sounds punk rock. Um, he bought one of my zines and enjoyed it and then mailed me one of his. Um, this is this is the type of zine I want to start doing. This is my next step because it's like printed, it's cool, um, it's well written, good stories, there's no typos. Um, this is like the next level up I think of, of doing zines and I think I'm I'm envious of, of stuff like this. Um, the stories are about living in Portland, um, the weird cold gray winters of Portland. It's also about summertime blues. It's about, um, where does he move? Somewhere warm for a summer, like Georgia, I think. Um, it's about hanging out with his friends. Um, sort of just like a lot of random stories that give you like this general feeling of, um, you know, sometimes life is tough, but you got to get through it. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but I read it straight through and uh, really enjoyed it. So thank you, Adam, for sending me this. I'll put the address of, of where to get that. Finally, last up, Short and Queer 16. Um, this is a totally different type of Short and Queer um, because it's an interview with Kelly's grandpa. Um, I would, if I didn't know Kelly and if I wasn't like best friends with Kelly, I would have been uh, cautious of this zine because. It's a lot of words. I mean, a lot of pictures too, but it's a, It's just, there's no explanation really. It's, it's an interview. It's a straight through, cover to cover interview. It's Kelly and Grandpa Bill talking and it's just transcribed. And that can be a dangerous thing because long interviews usually turn out to be really boring and you only read about a fourth of the way and then you're done. But let me tell you, Kelly's grandpa has awesome stories. Um, and, and, like, I, where do you even start? Um, in World War II, uh, got his leg broken, got into, um, 
had to go uh when his leg was broken they put him into some like psycho ward with like german pow's <laughs> um uh stories about you know hanging like he's like 19 right and he's in europe because of the war and uh you know he's running around he's he's going to dances he's meeting girls you know he's he's uh meets some french girl and they turn out she turns out to be uh, jewish and he you know gets all excited about that um uh his wife is is here during the whole interview too and so she chimes in and says you know tells a little story oh tell him about your brother and tell him about this he talks about you know how every time he'd have a job he'd get bored when someone would tell him what to do and he'd quit and he you know had 10 jobs in two weeks and um it's just like story after story after story and uh what a joy it must be to just like hang out with someone that has that many stories um and he just seems very um happy to be alive happy to you know he talks about he had you know fought cancer three times or something um it's a great it's a great zine um as as far as like you know short and queer is usually about kelly and about uh queer issues and transgender issues and things like that towards the end um they do talk a little bit about that kelly talks about uh you know what did everybody think and what did you think when i i told everybody i was transgender and things like that and and they're like totally cool and they're like oh whatever you want to do you know whatever makes you happy and they're di they just seem like totally awesome cool people great zine great interview fun to read um long uh, with small print, but don't let it intimidate you. The stories are awesome. Uh, that's it. Peace out.